Hey, Craig with the Butler Pantry in Saugatuck, Michigan. And if you recall, now this is our one, two, fourth video. All right, so uh, I'm gonna do this, this one on basically really white wines that go with cheeses. You know, if you wanna invite some people over and you just wanna like put out some cheeses and jazz them up, I'm gonna also show you some white wines that you can enjoy with them. And this, I'm talking specifically to you guys out there who say, I only drink red wine. For instance, there's someone here right now who did not drink white wine. And I, and I said, oh, why don't you try this? He tried that wine, and what happened, Jeff? Drank it all. Drank it all, hear that? Drank it all. <laughs> so, you know, it just depends upon finding the right white wine in that varietal and who's the vintner and how they make it. Okay, so let's get going here. So, oh, look at this. I've got all these wonderful, they're not champagnes. They, they oh, I'm getting chastised again. That's Elvis Jr. I'm sorry, I should have, I, I know you first. Elvis, he's here. Julia, she's here and she does not make many public appearances anymore. Very pleased to have you. So. Um, and you're gonna love the wines. Anyway, first, let's go to, oh, Italian Prosecco. Sparkling wine, not champagne. Remember, champagne comes from Champagne, France, and that is, that's a, that's a rule. But sparkling wine, Prosecco. Cava, Cava, Spain. That's the Spanish sparkling wine. And they're reasonable. You're not gonna you're you're not gonna break the bank with these wines. You've got you would think this is sweet. It's not sweet. It's actually dry. It's a cava, and it's a and and it's a rosé. And they're gonna think you're a wine snob if you show up or have at your party a sparkling wine from Burgundy. Oh, that's the ultimate. That's like you know. I've done it. So, uh, anyway, remember, sparkling wines with your cheeses. And I'll go through the cheeses in, in a minute. Riesling, great. Nice, dry Riesling, perfect with a spread. And what I have here, this is really something. I have actually, I have right here, these are all three from the same winery, okay? Uh, Pinot Grigio. These two Pinot Grigios right here are from Kenneth Lynch in the northern part of Italy, Alto Adige. And they're, actually, I think they're, when I tried them, I, I was talking to my, to my wine, my wine rep, and he says, I love these. I think they're just wonderful. I can't get anybody to, uh, to drink them. I'll try them. I called him up and I said, these are some of the best Pinot Grigios I have ever tasted in my life. And he also turned me on to this one, which I had never drunk before. And this is from the, I don't want to butcher this, Abazia de Novacella. And this is also from the same area of these guys, that northern part of Italy, the same region, located between Austria and Switzerland. But what's so fascinating, Abazia, that's Abbey, there was an Abbey back 800 years ago. They were producing wine, so they know something about wine. And this is a Kerner. I've never tried a Kerner before, and we'll come back to this. A Gruner Wittliner from Austria. Again, you're gonna think, oh, Gruner, you know, Austria, that's gotta be sweet. No, it doesn't have to be sweet. Kind of like a Chardonnay, a non-oak Chardonnay, but you can also have with oak and they're absolutely lovely. Of course, Savion Blanc. Everybody knows about Savion Blanc. I do have one red, because I think a red with, uh, with, with all, with, with, with cheeses and wines is really nice, and that's a Zinfandel, because it's kind of jammy, and guess what we got here? We got some jammy. So what we're gonna do, we got Jeff here. He's gonna try, first of all, the goat cheese. Now, goat cheese with a fig, a fig jam. That's kind of just dressing it up. And goat cheese, we gotta play with. There's all kinds of goat cheese, depends on who makes it, where it comes from. You know, so they all have different kind of flavors. So anyway, Jeff. Okay. Here we go. Here you go. What do you think of that, Jeff? 
Mm. Wait a minute, it's not done, we're not done. Come here, Jeff, here, here, here. Try this with white wine, with, with the kerner. I'm doing the kerner, because I'm so impressed. Mm. What do you think? Beautiful. Beautiful, you hear Water. that? Beautiful, okay, and this happens to be our local jammy person, Marguerite, Holland, Michigan. We sell here at the Butler Pantry. And Marguerite has a cookbook. And there it is. And look at some of the stuff in the cookbook. Look at that. Wow. So Marguerite, remember that, only here at the Butler Pantry. You can go to our website, www.butlerpantry.com, and actually order the product. And we can send it to you. And we're going to keep going here. OK, Jeff, we're going to try. This is a French triple cr cream mm. with a cranberry Orange with actually a, a cranberry orange sauce, mm. and this is actually Stonewall oh. Kitchen. And we'll see what he thinks of that. Okay, Jeff likes it with the white wine. Did you try it with white wine, Jeff? Two thumbs up. Jeff, two thumbs up. Okay, all right, but we're not done. Jeff still has to keep eating and drinking. We have next, Jeff's gonna, try, <laughs> Jeff's gonna try, and by triple cream cheese, that, need, that don't, doesn't really need any sort of description. I got a chew, man. <laughs> doesn't need any kind of description. I mean, that's a heart clogger. Don't tell your car girl that you're eating triple cream cheese. Mm. So anyway, next we're gonna do the manchego with oh, mm. <laughs> maple bacon onion jam. Wow. All right, Make maple bacon onion jam. Stone Kitchen, try that, Jeff. Absolutely. See what you think of that. Um, Mm. Oh, right on. Oh my God, look at that. This is that great. And that has bacon in it? it yes, it does. That's so good. <laughs> it does. And it does. Everything's good with bacon. So, bacon should be everywhere. All right, and the last one here I have, it is a Merlot cheese, nothing on it. It, of course, speaks for itself, has a touch of Merlot. There you go. Go, Jeff. Go. He's getting it. There he goes. It's got Merlot. Uh, yeah, Merlot. Well, I, I, you know, I shouldn't told. I shouldn't even said anything. What wine do I drink with it? You're gonna drink the white wine. This is all about white wines. Okay, okay, okay. White wines and cavas. Well, you had a red. <laughs> well, the red, you know, but you know that was later. Zins. I'll do a whole thing on zins. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you don't think that maybe meats don't go with white wine? Well, you're wrong. I have here Spanish chorizo, not the Mexican chorizo. They are different, completely different. And just buy Mexican chorizo, Spanish chorizo, even fine. It's not, it's not easy to find, at least here in this area. But when I found it, I bought it. Jeff, give that a try. Mm, that looks good. All right, we're almost there. Okay, Jeff, what do you think? Unbelievable. Unbelievable! With the white? With that white? You need a little more, Jeff. I think you need a little more. You have a good day uh, either, man. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. And what do you think? Fantastic. You like it? Oh, I tell you. You know what? So, guys, I got to tell you. First of all, this is a standout wine, this Kerner. I, I mean, it is a grape that, it's a red grape crossed with a Riesling. My first time having a Kerner. The minerality, the freshness, the dryness, it is sensational. You have to expand your palates, try new wines, and look at how simple this is. Simple cheeses, little toppings. Your friends are going to love you. Are all those wines available here? All these wines, of course, are available here at the Butler Pantry. Okay? And go to our website, go to the wine club, click on the link. You'll see there are all our videos. You can look over everything that we've tried. And if you'll see, th see something you like, call us up and order it. You can pick it up right here at the store. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much for coming, guys. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you in next video.